Well, hello. Uh, this is a compilation of video tutorial of how to simulate a model in Energy Plus. But first, I will uh, show you how to build geometry in SketchUp. And here I use SketchUp Make 2016. And yeah, first of all, I'm sorry if my English is not so good. Hopefully, you still can understand uh, what I'm saying. Okay, so now, um, first I'll build the layout here. I'll just make a simple model. Okay, 5 meters wide and 10 meters long. Okay, okay here it is. And then I'll divide this area into three smaller areas. So one, two, three. Okay, and then I'll pick all of this area and choose this feature where I can define the floor height and the number of floors. And I'll just let it be one floor only because I want to make the model simple. Okay, here it is. And now I will add a window here. And I want to place it in, a, in an exact location. So I use this Measer Tab tool. and then draw the window. Okay. The window is only two meters times one meter. Okay. I think that's enough. Yeah, two so you need to draw the window after you double click uh the rectangle that you draw in the wall will be defined as window directly when you are finished uh, making the rectangle. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, one more. You can also uh, click the zone and right click here and choose uh, edit group. Okay, and then it will have like auto box like the other zone before. Okay. <clears throat> The same size. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so I need to move it uh, a little bit to the right. So I think I'll move it with this cursor, the move cursor. You can pick this point and move it uh, five. 100 millimeters away. Okay. So, yeah, now we have three different rooms or spaces with one window for each space. Okay. And now <coughs> we have to first check. From the inspector here. Sorry. Okay, here we can see the 
model already has three spaces space 102, 103, and 101. Okay, but there's still no thermal zone assigned to this space. So the first thing that we have to do is to choose the Open Studio user script. After that, alter or add model elements and add new thermal zone for spaces with no thermal zone. So click this. And then check again in the inspector, and you will see that we already have three thermal zones. But we still don't know. Thermal zone one is for uh, which spaces. So now we have to again go to Open Studio User Scripts, alter or add model elements, and choose the rename thermal zones based on space names. Choose that. Check it again, we'll have thermal zone, which already has the same name with the space name. Okay, so next, we have to uh, assign the template of this building. So we can go to on-demand template generators and choose space type and construction set resort. Here I will define this building as obvious. Yeah, I think that's okay. And then the template is this one. And then I'll choose uh, climate zone 1A here. Okay, so by uh, defining this template, it will make your work a lot easier because um, Signing these templates means each space will have internal games, will have construction sets assigned to the to the old building here, so you don't need to make it one by one in energy plus letter. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the model has forty eight spaces. Types and a construction set, so that's great. Okay, now, um, oh yeah, the other thing that we need to check is the boundary of the surface, all the surface in this building. So, if, as you can see here, um, the blue wall show that it has a boundary condition to be outdoor and this cream uh, wall show that it has a boundary with the ground which because it is the floor so it makes sense it has a boundary condition with the ground so the problem is here there is a wall that has a boundary condition with the other wall so it's just like an adjacent wall so we need to make this wall um to have a boundary condition with the other wall so all we need to do is to first pick all of this building okay and then choose the surface matching feature and you can choose intersect and selection if you want to continue okay so first you need to intersect this okay so again, you need to pick. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, you need to pick all of this building and match in selection. Okay. So here it is. As you can see, this wall is uh, already has the correct boundary. Okay. So I think now it would be okay. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is to export the IDF file. A new folder. One, okay.
1.1.idf. Okay, so first you need to launch the energy bus, open it from the EP launch, and make sure to uh, choose the correct version. So here I use the energy bus 8.5 version because I used the SketchUp 2016, which exported an IDF file in 8.5 version. So here I will browse uh, the IDF file that I just exported from the SketchUp. Here it is. And I also need to browse the weather file. So I already prepared Jakarta downtown weather file here you can use uh, whatever weather data that you uh, need to simulate okay so okay here it is the version is 8.5 as you can see the energy, my energy plus version is also 8.5 so it is switch each other and all the data that you have here are simulation control. Yeah, there are so many data. And yeah, by assigning the demand template in the SketchUp that I showed you before, you will have all of these uh, things assigned into your IDF file. For example, the material. This is like the default material, and yeah, and the material will be used to in the construction. Just this, okay. This is like the external roof, climate zone one. Okay, there are so many construction here, and also, um, oh yeah, yeah, this one also building surface details so the floor will have a construction whether it has a outside boundary condition or yeah it has like boundary condition uh, the other surface as their boundary condition okay and then most importantly it also assigns the internal gains for each zone so here are the people uh, internal gain okay this is the zone list so here the zone has been grouped into one zone list so there will so here there is only one internal gain listed on this part this is the light this is the electric equipment okay these three internal gains are uh, the most common internal gains that we can find in common building okay yeah I think that's all and now uh, using this IDF file that we exported from the SketchUp, we can see here if we click the simulate button. It can be simulated just like this, okay? And we can see the uh, result of the simulation. You should pick the sets and click the HTML. Okay, here it is. As you can see, the energy plus will calculate the energy of the building. Here we can see the total energy here. And yeah, the energy per total building area, it is in gigajoule. So you can also change the unit if you want, for example, to calculate it in kilowatt hour or any other units. Here you can see the end uses. 
for this simulation, there are only these two things that is being calculated. Okay, so the cooling, because we do not assign any cooling system, that is why we have zero electricity for cooling. Okay, so this is um, the first part, how we can use the energy loss simulation. In the next video, I will show you how to assign an HPAC system into the building or the model. So, and also um, talk a little bit about the type of HPAC that we usually use for uh, modeling or we can find in any common buildings. Yeah, I think that's all. Thank you.